All right, guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Boss's noise suppressor NS2 pedal. Let's get to it. All right, welcome back. So I'm making this video today just because a viewer has requested uh, to demonstrate the Boss noise suppressor NS2 pedal. Um, so I'm just going to talk about it, how you can actually use the decay function on it, the threshold function on it, and I'm also going to show you guys, and you can actually hear it, uh, what's going to happen when I'm going to switch off the noise suppressor pedal, and I'm going to try out different um, gain settings just to give you guys an idea of how effective the noise suppressor pedal is. So for this demonstration purpose today, I'm going to be using my mega distortion pedal and later on I'm just gonna use directly the gain setting from my amplifier straight through the noise suppressor pedal alright so right now I've got the noise suppressor pedal on as you can see it um, <clears throat> the threshold is about two o'clock and the decay is just about two o'clock as well or you could almost say one o'clock um, Oops, I have to sit down like this so I can actually capture <laughs> um, the speaker and there's a lot of direct light coming through the back so I don't really want to have a really bad quality video. But anyways, I may just stand up for a little while and let you guys hear what it sounds like. Alright, I'm switching on the mega distortion pedal and... gonna let go of it so immediately um, the threshold is where the noise suppressor kicks in and the decay is how long do you want it want the notes to sustain once you start once you've stopped playing so for example <laughs> So as long as I was holding that note without strumming it, um, it was able to sustain for quite a long time period. And you know, like for the different styles of music that you guys play, everybody's going to have different types of settings for it. I normally play heavy metal and hard rock music, so for me, uh, this setting works perfectly fine. Uh, because I've got my high gain pretty, uh, because I've got my not high gain, because I have my gain pretty high, uh, around I would say here I can see in the distortion it's about I would say good three o'clock so it's pretty high it's not too intense I know some people actually have it all the way up to um, 10 but okay I'm just gonna switch off the noise suppressor and let you guys hear the buzz which is coming from my mega distortion pedal Yeah, there's even some sort of a clicky noise coming, so that's the beauty of having a noise suppressor pedal. It just eliminates any kind of hum or any kind of other weird noise which is coming out of it. So once again. So now if I'm going to play a chord. Now when I just played that chord, I was still able to actually play and there's still background noise. Now this thing is gonna be even worse because right now I've got my volume set to about three o'clock because I'm in an apartment building and I don't really wanna disturb all the neighbors. But if I had my amplifier volume set all the way to even about 12 o'clock or one o'clock, this thing is just gonna be really, really noisy. It's gonna be, there's gonna be feedback, just, just bad sound coming through it. So it makes a huge difference if you have your volume down if you're not using a noise suppressor. But if you have your volume quite high up, uh, the noise suppressor helps a lot. But when you're doing live shows, it's still pretty bad actually. So when I'm playing live and if I've got the gain, which is pretty much what I have right now, my mega distortion um, set to this level, uh, I actually have to switch off my uh, distortion pedal so you know 
And to demonstrate that, let's hear the sound which is coming out of it. Right now the noise suppressor is off and I'm going to switch off the mega distortion. Boom. It's quiet again. Everything is quiet again. And, and that's exactly what I was trying to say. When you're playing live, things get very, very loud. And um, even if you have the noise suppressor all the way up, um, it's just not going to cut it. You have to sometimes switch off your distortion pedal when you're playing live. All right. Um, yeah. Let's try out different gain levels and see how it works. So switching on the noise suppressor now. And here we go. Let's start off with about 9 o'clock. So. All right. Without the noise suppressor, it's actually doing pretty decent. All right. Let's increase the distortion to about 12 o'clock. Switch on the noise suppressor. All right. Switch on the distortion. It's still controlling everything. All right, so let's crank it up all the way to three o'clock. And this is where I was before. So this is with the noise suppressor on, distortion gain all the way up to about three o'clock. <laughs> switch off the mega distortion pedal and the noise suppressor all right switching on the mega distortion pedal again without the noise suppressor on all right you can hear clicking sound and humming sound in the background and if I was to go here and increase the volume to let's say 12 o'clock it's just getting pretty bad now let's kick on the noise suppressor the sound is gone let's go back over here to the amplifier and increase the volume I'm up to about 12 o'clock. Everything is nice and contained. It's all the way to 10. But mind you, at this stage, I am not touching the guitar strings. My fingers are far away from the guitar strings. All right, bring it back to about three o'clock. <laughs> really want my neighbors to be complaining all right now let's switch off the noise suppressor and I'm gonna go back to the amplifier and I'm gonna increase start increasing the volume and you guys would be able to hear the difference from what I demonstrated before this time even if my fingers are gonna be miles away from the guitar strings there's going to be a lot of sound feedback hum coming from the back all right i'm not playing any playing the guitar all right we're just going to increase the volume of the amp we're going to about 12 o'clock things are getting louder any single movement that i'm making I wasn't even able to actually go all the way to six o'clock on the amplifier and it was just getting really really loud and yeah as I said before I cannot be making very loud noise 
in my apartment otherwise I'm gonna get a letter all right um, so that was just demonstrating the mega distortion let's switch off the mega distortion leave the noise suppressor on and we're gonna increase the gain on the amplifier so previously it was just about actually it was very it was all off because I'm using this as my preamp my pedal board that is so I've got the noise suppressor on here and I've got the gain on my amplifier set to about nine o'clock and the volume on the amplifier is just about nine o'clock as well just below nine o'clock all right I'm gonna switch off the noise suppressor At the moment things are still okay. I'm gonna increase the gain on the amplifier to about 12 o'clock and the noise suppressor switching on. All right let's switch off the noise suppressor and there's a little hum. It's not too loud it's not too bad. Increasing the gain to about 3 o'clock. Noise suppressor is on. suppressor you can hear a little hum it's not too bad but it's there all right switching on the noise suppressor and let's increase the gain all the way to five o'clock and for the final test I'm going to switch off the noise suppressor. The gain on the amplifier is set to about 5 o'clock all the way up. You can hear some humming, there's no clicking. Um, but there is this humming sound. Alright, I'm going to try to increase the master volume on the amplifier and see if that's going to make a difference. bad. Let's put on the noise suppressor and try to increase the volume, master volume, without playing guitar. Pretty decent. The noise suppressor is kicking in and doing its job. And my settings, as you can see here, are set about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, you know. That's where this is my sweet spot in terms of the kind of music that I play, how I play, and what I'm playing, you know, most importantly. But as I said before, I normally play hard rock and heavy metal music. So for me, a lot of gain is critical. And I have my boss mega distortion pedal set. The gain is pretty high on it. It's set pretty high. And so this setting works really good for me. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was informative. Uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit the bell button so you'll be notified every time I post such kind of videos related to guitar, amplifiers, and also do music reviews, CDs, and vinyls. 
mostly hard rock and heavy metal actually exclusively hard rock and heavy metal so yeah thank you and i'll see you guys next time take care bye